So it's certainly been a very exciting past few years for PSMA imaging in prostate cancer. And in some countries around the world, led by Germany and uh, Australia, we've had really widespread access to PSMA PET-CT as an imaging tool in prostate cancer. But in many other parts of the world, there have been limitations in how people can access this type of imaging, especially in the USA, where there has been very little access to PSMA PET-CT. But all of that changed, of course, in the past couple of months when the FDA finally approved PSMA PET-CT for imaging prostate cancer, albeit a limited approval at the moment. It's limited to two applicant centers um, in California, UCSF and UCLA. But we certainly feel that this uh, approval in December will herald an era when more PSMA PET-CT tracers will be approved and we will see more widespread access in the USA. So I think what the US audience and others around the world are interested in is the experience of countries like Australia, Germany, India, and some others, where we have had widespread access to PSMA PET-CT for five or six years now. And this past year, we published the results of the pro-PSMA trial in the Lancet which is a prospective randomized trial comparing PSMA PET-CT with conventional imaging for the staging of newly diagnosed prostate cancer. And the primary endpoint of that study pro PSMA was accuracy. So we wanted to determine how PSMA PET-CT compared with traditional CT and bone scanning. And in summary, what we showed in the Lancet paper was that PSMA PET-CT was 27% more accurate uh, than conventional imaging. And we also had other key secondary endpoints of importance to clinicians, uh, such as, for example, the rate of equivocal findings in conventional imaging is 23%. So one in four patients have an equivocal finding. Is it a, is it a bone metastasis? Is it not? which usually leads to more imaging or biopsies to clarify the equivocal findings. Whereas in PSMA PET-CT, we only see equivocal findings in about 7% of cases. Also, much less radio radiation dose involved, a shorter time uh, in the center. Uh, so all of this put together means that we see a big clinical utility for PSMA PET-CT in a randomized trial. And what we're beginning to see around the world now is more and more guidelines uh, reflecting that high quality data and supporting the use of PSMA PET-CT for imaging uh, prostate cancer.